All right, hey, it's Sid Owsley from Determination, Determination, Destination, the 3Ds to Success. And this is the continuation of the Rio de Janeiro series of the 3Ds to Success, Motivation, Determination videos. I'm here back at my favorite spot. It's called Oakberry here on Copacabana Beach, specifically near Post 02. If you're, if you're on the street, the street you will come down is Hua, which means street in Portuguese, Ronaldo Caballo. Oakberry sells acai. And that's what I'm eating this morning. It's, you see this thing is loaded up. It's got chia seeds, bananas, uh, protein powder, acai, shredded coconut. This is my af my uh, after workout meal. So this morning, I want to talk to you guys about taking risks. And I before I read from the book, uh, Quantum Leap Strategies and U Squared by both of those books by Price Pritchard. And in that book, in those books, they talk about taking taking risks, specifically. They talk about taking, he talks about taking risks from the perspective of you're just taking a different set of risks when you choose to do something different. Usually things aren't more or less risky, they're just a different set of risks. And how much of a risk you're taking depends on your education about what you're doing, your will to succeed, your determination to see, your determination to determine your own destination in life. And I want everybody to know that if you want to do something different in life and you start to think that it's risky, it's only risky if you don't, if you haven't educated yourself about what you're doing. If you want to do something, but you really have no education about it, that's very risky. But the more you educate yourself about what it is you want to do, the less risky it becomes. Now, does education take away all the risks? No. But as you build your knowledge, you build your courage. You build your determination. And you still may need, and in many cases, you will have to just go ahead and jump off the cliff and, and you know, grow wings on the way down. But with enough education, you, you can figure out what to do when you make that quantum leap in your life. I'm going to give an example of somebody that this guy, so he, he lived his life on his own terms. And the brother died June 28th. That's a couple of weeks ago. His name was Youssef Watif. And Youssef lived in Sao Paulo, Brazil. He was from Niagara Falls, New York. And uh, Youssef was 43 years old, if I remember correctly. I met him last September in Sao Paulo. Youssef was the embodiment of determination to determine your own destination of three Ds to success. He was the embodiment of living life on your own terms. This brother had been in the financial industry when he was younger and he educated himself enough in that industry and in other things to leave that industry at the age of 37 and semi-retire. He, he had businesses that provided him income, businesses and investments. So from the age of 37 to the age of 43, Youssef lived in about 15 countries and Brazil was the place that he basically chose to settle in. Hold on, I gotta get my acai, hold on. And Youssef shared a lot of knowledge on his videos. He shared a lot of knowledge in personal conversations with people, including myself. My brother was awesome. Awesome workout part. I, I, he, was, he was one of the few people that I that I uh, 
actually liked working out with. So he was a great brother, but but you know, Yusef lived life on his own terms. He defined his own life. He he planned out things and he executed them. Did all of them work? No, he'd be the first one to tell you that not every single thing he did work, but he kept moving. And he kept, and he, you know, I'm gonna to repeat to the best of my knowledge the things that he said. He said he, he didn't make a whole lot of home runs. He didn't hit a lot of home runs in life, but he would hit singles and doubles. And he would keep moving, moving on the bases and he would keep scoring. And he was an awesome example of someone who was determined to live their own life on their own terms. And even at the age of 43, he probably lived two to three lives of most people's lives. And uh, if you ever get a chance, check out Yusef Watif. Check out his, uh, his YouTube channel. He gives a lot of knowledge. I still go back and look at some of his videos. He just died a couple of weeks ago. But he's an example of someone that I met that had a powerful influence on me to live life on my, my own terms. As a matter of fact, my reasons for being here in Rio was because of him. I was, uh, I was coming to Brazil. I was gonna go to Sao Paulo to meet up with him to do some business. And the night before I left, uh, found out that Yusef died. And it was a, it was a huge shock. But one thing I can say, that brother, he did it his way. He lived life the way he wanted to live. And so even though his life was not long, he did a lot of what he wanted to do in life. Did he have a lot more plans? Most definitely. Did he execute and enjoy life to the fullest up until he died? From what I could tell, yeah, he was having a great time in life. Matter of fact, he would, he, in some of his videos, he tells you, I'm having a great time or something to that effect. And so him dying at, at the age of 43, in the midst of him living life to the fullest, in the midst of him executing his plans and his goals, it's an inspiration to me and I hope an inspiration to you to do what it is you want in life. The, the risky part is you're, you're just taking a different set of risks. It's not necessarily more risky or less risky. It's just a different set of risks and educate yourself on what it is you want to do. You know, you know I, I, I made my decision and I'm executing. And you know, you you ready fire aim. You, you fire ready aim. You know, you, you you shoot your shot, and you adjust things along the way. You know, you you, you get out here in, in your boat, and uh, you know sometimes your navigation plans aren't going to take you to the destination you want to do. You, you want to go to right away, but you have to adjust. And so, you know, I just want to encourage everyone to, to stay focused, keep moving, don't give up, be determined to determine your own destination in life. You know, and is it going to be hard sometimes? Yeah. But are you going to succeed? Yeah. You got to keep moving. You got to keep, keep dreaming, keep having goals. Stay determined. Be determined to determine your own destination in life. You know. I'm sitting here by the beach now, and uh, I literally pinch myself every day when I'm here. I pinch myself and give thanks for stepping out because that's what you got to do. You know, the risky part, the riskiest thing you can do in life is to believe that everything is going to stay the same. Right? The riskiest thing you can do in life is to believe that. Your job is always gonna be there. That you're always gonna make the same, or that you're always gonna have a stable, secure life. That 
is extremely risky thinking. When you have the attitude of being able to adjust and being able to deal with risk and accept risk, that mitigates the risk. It takes away some of the risk. That's education. That's changes your perspective. Believing that things are gonna stay the same, that you're always gonna have that safe, secure life you have now, that is the riskiest thing you can do, especially in this day and time, because I guarantee you, things are not gonna stay the same. It's about to get real different over the next few years. And we're all gonna need to be able to adjust. You know, we're gonna have to get used to some things that we haven't seen before. And so I wanna encourage you that if there's things that you wanna do in life and you've been waiting, you, you think it's too risky, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I shouldn't do that. You know, somebody told me, my friends told me that's too risky. Or I shouldn't, I shouldn't move to that other country. Or I shouldn't invest in that business. Or you know, I shouldn't write that book. Or I, whatever it is that people are telling you, or whatever's ever going on in your head that you want to do. But then that, that voice, you know, the committee that I've talked about before, that committee forms in your head telling you, you know, you shouldn't do this or that's too risky. Stop listening to that shit. Take the risk. Do what you want to do in life. Educate yourself so you can mitigate your risk. Step out and, and live life on your own terms. Because your life can be gone in the blink of an eye. And you want to be able to live your life to the fullest so that when you are gone, you know, You've done, you've done a few things that you really wanted to do in life. Regret is one of the worst things you can have in life. Regretting not doing something. If you've done something that doesn't work out, you know, hey, it didn't work out. You know, you can adjust and do it again because you're going to learn from the mistakes. When you just don't do something, something you really want to do and you, and you were too, too afraid to do it, that, that scares, you know, that scares me that that's not a life worth living living in regret and fear you want to live life you know in, in you know take if you're taking some risk those are life experiences you can learn from and you can pass on those experiences to other people you know that's what Yusef did Yusef passed on his experiences to other people and helped a lot of people including myself <laughs> You know, that's what a lot of the gurus do. People like Les Brown, people like John Tallarico, Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy. You know, they talk about their failures. Robert Kiyosaki, they talk about their failures because they learn from their failures and their failures ultimately help them to succeed. You know, so Get some education on what you want to do and take the risk. Things aren't going to be perfect when you decide to execute your plan. You're going to have to step out on faith. All the money's not going to be there. All of the resources aren't going to be there. Things aren't going to be perfect, but you would be surprised at how things will align for you along the way. And I want to encourage you that you can do this. You can do, you can, you can step out on your own. You can step out and do the things that you want to do. You just got to have the courage and a certain amount of education to do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You know, I'm sitting, sitting here by the beach. Check this out. You know. That's, that's one of the things, one of the ways I want to live my life. And so I'm going to encourage you to live your life the way you want to. You know, 
because as I said before, your life could be gone and do you want to leave this realm of experience in regret? Saying that, you know, oh, I wish I had done this or done that. Nah, you want to, you want to, you want to be able to say, yeah, I, you know, I, I did some things in life. I did some things that I wanted to do. Did all of them work out? No. But did I have, did I have a good time? Did I have a learning experience? Did I meet good people? Did I, did I make friends? Did I have good meals and, you know, and, and, and share good things with people? Did I challenge myself and help other people challenge themselves in life? You want to be able to say those things before you leave this planet. So I'm going to finish my acai because it's starting to melt. I want y'all to have a great day. And I want you to be determined to determine your own life. Determine, be determined to determine your own destination in life. Step out, take those risks. Check out the book, uh, U Squared by Price Pritchard. Check out my website, SidOwsley.com. Check out my YouTube channel, Sid Owsley. And check out the podcast, Three Ds to Success. Bonjour, ciao. I'm out.